Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a glowing bullet for this Hellboy prop gun. I started by modeling this in ZBrush and Modo. I'll put a link to the file in the description. It's three separate pieces, the shell casing, the clear cap, and a little LED holder for the inside. I made up some details for the bottom, but these won't be seen for my uses anyway. My first prints didn't go well. This cup shape is difficult to make on resin printers because of the forces involved. They'd come out with distortion. In an effort to correct my printing problems, I built a cheap and quick heated box for the printer, but I also had to put drain holes in the model when I sliced it. I switched to a clear resin since the cap needs to be transparent. Here's those drain holes I was talking about. These will have to be patched. On the clear lid, I'll use more of the same resin to fix it, but on the casing, I can use Magic Sculpt since it's going to get painted. Once everything's patched, it's on to sanding. This is how the LED holder fits in. The LEDs I'm using look clear, but they're actually green when you apply power to them. They fit into the holder with a little bit of pressure. I'm going to use the same clear UV resin and this UV LED light to patch the drain holes. I thought I'd just stick it on my finger and fill in the resin with a Q-tip, and when I started curing it with the light, it got really hot in a hurry and burnt my finger. Be careful with this stuff. Here's the patch shell casing. It came out pretty good. After patching and sanding the clear top, it's pretty cloudy, and I want it to be perfectly clear, so I'm painting on a coat of UV resin. Then I'll harden it with the light. Now it's time to wire the LEDs. I'll clip off the long leg and solder on a 68 ohm resistor. I've joined all the negative leads together and attached a single black wire. Then I test them out before installing to make sure I didn't screw anything up. I've also coated the whole thing with hot glue to make sure there's no shorts when installing. Now I'm painting the base with a black acrylic to cover everything. I decided to use gold rub and buff for this, but it turned out to be a mistake. I wasn't happy with the final finish and ended up removing it. Next I needed to print the crystals. I modeled these up in ZBrush and printed them in three different sizes because I wasn't sure what size would fit perfectly under the clear top. To run the wires through to the LEDs, it's necessary to drill a hole in the bottom. This bullet will be sitting in a display stand so you won't see these when it's done. And then it's a matter of fishing the wires and pushing the light holder in place. I've also painted the top of the LED holder black. Now I've got to mount the crystal in place. I figured the best solution would be hot glue since it's translucent and the light will shine through it. I filled all around the crystal with hot glue just to hide the seam and painted all of that stuff black as well. The next step is to drill a hole in the base for the wiring. Then I marked out where the Arduino will go. I mounted the base on my mill with some 123 blocks and milled out a pocket. I don't know what this stuff is made with, but it mills really easily. It looks on the inside like they tossed in a bunch of cheap filler. This is where I decide the rub and buff has to go. It doesn't hold up to handling and I didn't like the look of it, so I decided to remove it with some turpentine. I don't have any good brass colored paint, so I'm going to mix these two Liquitex colors, gold and copper. I've masked off the crystals with some tape. Here's a shot of what it looks like with the Arduino sketch running. This kind of thing is difficult to film due to the exposure differences between the lights and the background. That rapid flicker you see is due to the PWM signal interfering with the frame rate of the camera. You can't actually see that in person. Don't be put off by microcontrollers, they're really not that bad to work with. I've got no idea how this code actually works, but as long as you can copy and paste, you can get this to work. You don't need to know programming for this. You could leave out the Arduino and just connect the LEDs to a battery pack like this one. You just won't get the animated light effect. I was originally going to fill all four slots with the same green glowing bullets. But now that I've had time to think about it, I think I'll make each one different. I don't know yet what the others will be, but if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. I hope you were inspired by some of these ideas to make your own. Don't forget to hit all the buttons on the way out. Thanks for watching.